Hello my beautiful collective and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Thank you all so much for all the likes, the shares, the comments and the subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal or information on how to do so is in the description box below. So today we're going to be doing a general reading for the collective, just checking in, seeing what the divine wants us to know. All the um the readings for all signs are already out, so please feel free to check them and to check for your other placements, okay? So um we're gonna be doing a general whatever comes towards you, family, lover, friend, or foe, please. May I remind you that the energies in the readings can go vice versa, so please only take what resonates. Feel free to switch the genders and the roles and whatever you... You could do what you want, but just don't come at me in the comments, okay? <laughs> so, my beautiful collective, um, I already shuffled the overall energy for you and we have fresh start and at the bottom of the deck we have strength, okay? So, with these two cards... Um, for some of you, I feel like there could be something that you could be, um, there's, you're going to need a lot of courage is what I'm hearing. Something requires a lot of strength, a lot of courage, a lot of bravery. This could be you, um, starting a new job. This could be you moving somewhere. This could also indicate that you may want to, um, ask for a fresh start with somebody. Okay, so you may want to reconcile. I'm pretty sure we're kind of in Mercury retrograde right now. So there may be a lot of feelings and emotions coming up. Okay, um, you could just be, um, this could be like a fresh perspective on life. Maybe you've just, you're doing something new for the first time. Okay, um, but like I said, it requires a lot of like strength and resistance. Okay, I'm getting something about like, you're going to have to resist temptation when it comes to something now for some of you this could be something to do with a diet as well so um maybe you're trying to kind of clean up your insides okay you may be trying to de detox but again it takes a lot of strength so you may have like cravings and things that you know what i mean you're just like oh my goodness i really want to have some cake or i really want to have some chocolate or maybe you're trying to cut out sugar you're trying to replace um that your sweet tooth with other sweet substitutes. I'm getting something about black currants and blackberries. They're really good for um, anti antioxidants within the body. Okay, uh, I'm getting something about vitamin B3, um, vitamin C, and vitamin um, E. Okay, um, but yeah, some of you, you know, you're starting something fresh or you're doing something fresh. Okay, um, I feel like when you do this, whatever this is, it will result. Um, You'll get great results is what I'm getting with the rainbow card here. I feel like the divine is prompting you to do something, okay? And so um, because of how much strength and courage it's going to take you, I feel like that's where the reward is coming from, okay? And yeah, underneath we have determination. So I feel like whatever this is, is something that you have to like, you know, you've got to put all your strength and all your might into something and keep disciplined is what I'm hearing, okay? So let's just see where this is going, okay? So fresh start, okay? I'm hearing something about refreshment and renewal as well. For some of you, you may need to drink more water or that could be something that you are currently doing. Okay, I didn't really think about this setup too much. I'm thinking, where can I put this without things falling? Okay, yes, that's perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with, um, oh, looking for my decks. Our affirmations for today, okay. So, what is coming towards the beautiful collective, okay? So, something brand new, or you're getting a second chance at something or a fresh start, okay? So, gorgeous energy, okay? Some of you may also be feeling just like super fresh, super powerful, okay? You may have a lot of vitality, a lot of creative ideas, okay? Just as I said, that's super powerful. We've got, um, I am a herring that wanted to come out, okay? So, yeah, so I feel like for some of you, um, and then we have um, I am protected at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, you could be protecting yourself. Okay, I'm getting something about powerful genes. So, for some of you, you may have, like, powerful genes or there's something that you're putting in your body that's really strengthening strengthening you, which is strengthening your abilities, your skills. I feel like you're feeling more motivated. You're getting a lot more ideas. You could be a role model to someone as well. Somebody may, like, really look up to you, okay? But I feel like somebody here is, like, had a lot of abilities, abilities that not many people have, but they come natural to you, okay, or you're just going to be feeling really powerful, like a Wonder Woman or Wonder Man, okay, Superman, okay, <laughs> um, I also feel like, um, 
if this is like a relationship thing i was gonna say i could pull a love card but i don't actually have any love cards around me right now um this could be um someone may see you as like their savior they may see you as their heroine they may put you above everybody else no one could do anything like you do i feel like somebody kind of puts you up on a pedestal here so somebody may want to ask um they may, somebody may want to begin something with you or like I said you could be meeting somebody brand new and it's kind of like I heard it's just what the doctor ordered okay I feel like somebody makes you feel protected and safe and secure okay now this is also kind of like you know I am the best card so I kind of feel like you are the best at whatever it is that you do so you could be starting something new like you could be pioneering something maybe there's something that you're doing that no one else has ever done no one else has ever seen okay and this is how people see you powerful courageous strong people may want to be just like you male or woman doesn't matter male or woman male or female man or woman does not matter okay so gorgeous and oh wait a minute where's it going gorgeous energy okay so we have um i am happy so yeah leo vibes here heavy and then we have um i am optimistic at the bottom of the deck so yeah keeping optimistic and um I'm hearing like positive mind, positive thoughts. Okay, if there is anything that you've really been wanting from the divine, I feel like the divine is like, like I said, going to bless you. We've got the rainbows here as well. So something about rainbows, okay? Rainbows are your confirmation or you need to add color into something, okay? Um, you could be um, working with colors, um, trying to heal yourself. So for example, if you're doing candle magic, you may be right, like... Um, buying colored candles for specific areas that you want to focus on or you could be buying like one of those you know 11 day not 11 day those seven day chakra candles okay but you're going to be really happy um at the result of something or somebody just makes you really happy or your luck is really about to change okay if you're moving somewhere i feel like you're moving somewhere that's really sunny or it could be by the water okay or you're just I'm hearing something about your environment is peaceful and it feels fresh. Okay, so maybe for some of you, you could be cleansing your environment as well. Maybe you're chucking out things, decluttering. If any of you do have any altars or any sacred spaces, um, you need to rearrange. Okay, your ancestors or your spirit guides, your deities, whomever it is that you pray to are really going to be really happy with that. Okay, and I feel like as a result of you changing things around, um, they're going to change something around for you. Okay, so I'm getting something about, you know, keep it fresh okay but gorgeous energy okay so happiness surrounds you okay so what else is coming and then we have i am protected that wanted to come out once again okay so yeah for some of you, you could be doing like protective rituals or well maybe you're um, practicing you know protective things okay um like crystals um oils you could be buying a black candle as well we just spoke about colors that is very significant i feel like for some of you you should be doing that okay but i feel like you're going to be feeling really protected really happy really safe and really powerful okay or these are the abilities that are um about to be bestowed upon you okay so this is really really gorgeous gorgeous energy okay the divine is also really protective over you as well okay so gorgeous energy. So at the bottom of the deck, we have I am optimistic. So yeah, like I said, keeping up that optimism, okay? Sagittarius and Leo energy is very significant here, okay? But could be any sign, okay? You may want to check what is in your, um, what's in your Jupiter, like what, what sign you have in your Jupiter, because then you'll know, um, you'll know how to expand based on your placement or the things that you need to do, okay? But, you know, gorgeous energy, okay? So optimism, we'll leave that right here so everybody can see that, okay? So there's a reason to smile about something, okay? Gorgeous energy. I feel like things are just going to start going in your favor, okay? Or, you know, somebody um, around you may just have like a really positive attitude. Someone may make you feel like alive, like you can do and accomplish anything. Okay, so this is really, really gorgeous energy. If you're, you know, if you want confirmation, if you are protected, if your family is protected, if your loved ones are protected, you know, the answer is yes, okay. Or it could be saying that you need to protect yourself, okay, from um, people and specific energies. So please clarify, I am a heron. This is for the beautiful collective. Okay, so we have the outlaw that wanted to come out. At the bottom of the deck, we have um, the diva, okay? So, yeah, so I feel like for some of you, um, with these two cards here, I feel like for some of you, I'm hearing like you're daring, okay? I feel like you dare to do what others don't do, okay? For some of you, you may have like, you know, a bit of like a reckless past or there may be things that you kind of have done um, that you may not 
be particularly proud of and you know maybe there's like a darkness that's trying to kind of reel you back in or some kind of temptation that's trying to reel you back in somebody's trying to kind of like make you do something bad or you know break the rules but you're just like no i'm i'm starting fresh you know i don't want to i don't want to be a bad boy or a bad girl anymore that that's not the life for me like i'm feeling really empowered right now and i've really transformed i'm also feeling like you're turning your pain into power into strength okay you could also you know because i always get role model vibes with this card so you also could be teaching people around you maybe you're a mentor or a guide or this is someone who you look up to they're trying to kind of like um show you a better path in life okay especially if you've like you know maybe for some of you 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 know grew up in a bad neighborhood or you grew up like in poverty or something like that okay i feel like there's certain things that you learned through your experiences that you can use to help other people around you okay but yeah with this energy as well i just kind of feel like someone here is really different and they're also not afraid to kind of you know break the rules or do things re like revolutionary things so not something that's like you know um not like petty crimes or just like really bad things. Like I'm hearing like you want to do something to break the rules, but it's like something that's revolutionary. Like you want to create some kind of social change. And I'm hearing like you're the only person that's going to do that. And so, um, but again, it, it requires a lot of courage and a lot of strength. But you're pioneering something here or you are thinking about this or you could be a part of some kind of social group. Um, for some of you, you could be studying sociology or maybe you have like a degree or a qualification in sociology, okay? I'm hearing something about... Um, citizenship and environmentalism okay so i don't know if that's significant for some of you okay but yeah okay so let's just keep going i just feel like some of you are really brave and you you know you want to do something different and people may call you names or people may not understand you because you're going in a different direction but i feel like you know people will follow suit so you know whatever you want to do i'm seeing to go for it you know with the optimism card at the bottom of the deck okay because yeah something is going to require a lot of strength because i feel like people are gonna there may be like naysayers around you or may, there may be people that's trying to make it seem like you are a bad guy or you're the bad person or what you're doing is bad or what you believe in is bad now this could be something simple as tarot like a lot of people will be like oh my god you believe in the devil oh my god you worship the devil oh my god it's like oh my god you're so dumb like do you know what i mean so i feel like you know don't listen to anybody who's either trying to bring up things from your past trying to make you feel like you're a bad person or trying to kind of like um taint you in some type of way because you're you're brave enough to do something that they can't do okay so please clarify that i am happy card okay so there's so many cards here we've got the artist the happy couple and the introvert okay um, so that could be very significant for some of you, you know, because we've got happy here twice. This could be something to do with like, you know, a couple. Oh, and we've got the beauty queen at the bottom of the deck, but we just want one card. So, yeah, that could indicate somebody kind of wants to, um, you know, somebody may want to start something fresh with you if it's in a romantic sense. With the introvert card there, it could um, indicate that you've been single for a while. This person has gone into isolation. They've really been thinking about something and they feel like, you know, you are their happiness okay you kind of keep somebody grounded with the outlaw card here okay maybe someone's dark you're light you kind of balance each other out okay this could be family or friend as well it does not have to necessarily be loving energy okay or this could be you wanting to kind of balance the um energy within yourself okay but let's just see because we just want one card okay two cards keep coming out we just want one please and thank you i wonder if you guys can see because that area just seems like really dark okay so please clarify the happy, um, I mean, I am happy. What are we happy about? Okay, so we have the introvert that wanted to come out once again, okay? And at the bottom of the deck here, we have the babe magnet. Oh, okay, so I feel like there is somebody that really likes you, really wants you. This could be somebody that's, you know, lost out on you or something like that, okay? But we'll just focus on this energy. I feel like for some of you as well, you're very, um, you've got strong magnetism right now, okay? Your aura is really high vibrational. So like I said, I do feel like there is somebody that wants you or there are people that want you, okay? So I feel like it's trying to say that you need to protect your energy because there's gonna be a lot of people that wanna be around you. There's gonna be a lot of people that also kind of wanna, um, like I'm getting like, oh, do you wanna go out for a drink? Do you wanna hang out? Do you wanna hang out? It's okay to hang out with friends, but if you're someone where like that is something that you always do, um, the divine may be saying that, you know, something requires strength. You need to resist, um, kind of partying or going out with people or drinking. Cause I feel like for some of you, if you are in like a lower vibrational state, especially when it comes to do with toxins, you may end up doing things that you're not necessarily proud of. Like somebody here may have like a drinking problem. 
Um, if you drink every day, you're, you know, underlying alcoholic. I just have to say, like, if you have a substance that you can't, can't go without, um, I feel like with the introvert energy, the strength and the fresh start, somebody needs to refresh their insides here. Somebody needs to restrain from something and find happiness within themselves or happiness in solitude or happiness, um, in their own company or not using other substances. So like, for example, if you go out with friends, you can go out with friends, but you may just say to yourself, you know what, I'll hang out with you guys today, but I'm not gonna drink. Cause I feel like, um, you know, especially with the babe magnet underneath, I just kind of feel like there's an energy that is trying to reel you back in. And the universe is trying to give you um, a fresh start at something. Now this could be somebody else around you as well yeah you'll feel a lot happier as well because i feel like somebody here may need to detox and once you do that a lot of people are going to be around you because you want to make sure that the people around you are, are high vibrational and also people who need alcohol and toxins in order to be happy there is a problem there you need to make sure that you um you understand that you know happiness comes from within you don't need anything to alter your personality in order to feel good because then that's when you you have to kind of take take into consideration that you may have an addiction okay so yeah because with the introvert and the outlaw here i just you know what i mean but let's just see where this is going or there could be somebody that's trying to tempt you and they're like really really attractive and you've got to really resist okay now for others of you i do feel like that is that somebody wanting to come back into your life you know, I feel like for some of you, you're happy being single, you're happy being by yourself, and someone's just like, nah, well, I ain't happy seeing you out here, <laughs> like, being all happy-go-lucky, you better come back, okay, so we have the gossip that wanted to come out, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the superstar, okay, so yeah, so, again, really powerful, we've got the activist underneath, so yeah, I do feel like I was saying, someone here's like really revolutionary, I feel like you're going to become really popular for something that you believe in, okay, again, the superstar energy is someone who's really talented, yeah, we have the performer as well underneath that, okay, so I feel like there's something that you're doing, there's something that you're pioneering, or there's something that you need to do that's just really revolutionary, or it's really inspiring, okay, um, success is here, okay um now with the gossip card and then the i am protected yeah so i kind of feel like it's saying that you need to stay away from people because i feel like a lot of people want to be around your energy because you know people can always sense when you have star quality for some of you you may you know be of high status you may be highly influential or maybe you hang around with high profile people or somebody just knows your destiny so there's going to be people that's going to be around you for the wrong reasons around you to distract you around you to keep you a low vibrational energy or people just want to know your business with the gossip card here, okay? This is also saying as well that you need to make sure that you're not gossiping and that you're not talking about people. Like, refrain from um, trying to get information about somebody or about people that doesn't concern you, okay? I'm also getting with the gossip card and the superstar. I feel like you're about to be the talk of the town. I feel like there is a fire sign that could be talking about you or, or an, an air sign, an Aquarius. I'm getting heavy Leo vibes and heavy Aquarian vibes here, okay? Possibly Virgo as well, but it doesn't have to be, okay? I hope you guys can see, because it just kind of looks a bit dark. But I feel like you are protected from this energy as well. And if there is anybody speaking about you, like we spoke about before, trying to slander your name or whatever, don't even worry about it, okay? I feel like people could potentially just be very jealous of your success, of your talent. People just don't want you to do well, okay? Does that look better? Sorry, one sec. Let me just... Does that look better, guys? I tried to turn the light on to make it look a bit... No? Okay, no, no, no. Sorry. My Virgo energy, I'm like, ah! Did I make it worse? Oh, my goodness. One second, guys. Okay, there we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, so... Sorry, I had to get the light in right. That was annoying me. Okay. Yeah, so, um, you know... Also, again, if any of you are like, you know, if if you're becoming really successful, okay, you are also going to have to kind of um, learn how to resist. Because, you know, especially when you have that high life, there's going to be a lot of temptation around you. There's just going to be so much um, 
you know, things that people may want you to be a part of. There's going to be so much things that people want you to do. So just make sure that you are just, you know, don't, don't forget why you started something with the activist card here, okay? Don't forget why you started something. Don't get lost in the fame or the success or the attention. Always remember the reasons as to why you've done something, okay? Sorry about the noise in the background. I don't know if you could hear that. So that is a confirmation for some of you. Somebody also could be trying to like distract you. Okay. I want to go and turn the light on again, but I don't want to keep getting up guys. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So let's move on, shall we? Let's move on. Let's move on. So please clarify the outlaw. Okay, so yeah, so we have the web here, and then we have the mask at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, okay, so I feel like for some of you, you know, I'm getting busy bees, busy bodies. You're going to be very successful online, or there's something that you're doing online that you need to kind of um, continue, okay? Also, again, you know, with the outlaw and the web here, I kind of just feel like these these could be like online people just hating, just chatting shit, because some people just don't like what it is that you're doing because you're fresh, Okay. Like you're fresh on these streets, so you could be like an, an upcoming artist or just somebody who's upcoming, okay, when it comes to like the entertainment industry. Now, this could just indicate as well that somebody is like watching you as well. Now, if this is a loving situation, I feel like somebody wants to say something to you, but they're kind of not saying anything, okay? But this person definitely looks up to you, okay? So please clarify the introvert. Ooh so many cards please cut out the introvert okay yeah so we have the moonlight that wanted to come out here okay yeah so something i feel like somebody may have a fear of like um being by themselves or somebody's really in their emotions here or i'm hearing like your happy place is is you'll find the answers within solitude okay something about the moon as well i don't know if there was like a recently a new moon or a full moon okay could be dealing with a cancer, but it does not have to be. I feel like somebody, it's almost like he's looking over at her. Like somebody kind of thinks about you and somebody, I feel like someone is in isolation right now. They kind of, you know, they're alone. This person wants to be with you because I feel like, you know, someone is the dark and you are the light. And um, I feel like someone thinks about you a lot when they are alone. Even if they're around a lot of people, I kind of just feel like someone feels a bit empty without you. We do have the twin flames at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with the twin flame of a soulmate i feel like you ignite somebody's passion okay so that's for like a small portion for you with that's for a small portion of you for others of you i feel like time alone is really required or you need to do something at night i'm also getting overnight success okay please clarify the gossip please clarify the gossip sorry that was like several different cards but that was the target that wanted to come out there but yeah so people could be trying to target you slander your name because they're jealous people are really focused on you so but you are protected from that energy okay but let's just have one card thank you so what do we have what came out yeah so we have the oracle interesting okay so there could be somebody that's literally getting readings on you because somebody wants to know what's going on in your life Okay, so you know when you book a reading, you book a reading on yourself because you want to know things about you. Someone's like booking readings to know about you and your business, okay? The reader could also be telling this person that you are really protected, you are a superstar, okay? We do have the sage at the bottom of the deck here, yeah? so that's Sagittarius energy. We've got the model underneath. So for some of you, I feel like you're really attractive as well, and you're really knowledgeable, you're really intellectual. Also, for some of you, you could be starting fresh when it comes to your spirituality, cleansing out certain things, cleansing out certain beliefs, Okay, if you um, are a spiritual practitioner of, of some kind, you're really good at what it is that you do. Okay, so you're going to be very successful if you are not already. Or there could be another sp spiritual practitioner that may want to work with you or is really inspired by you. Again, you know, like I said, online, you're going to say things that people are not going to be comfortable hearing. It's kind of like when readers, we say things and then somebody gets all crazy in the comments. It's like, I don't know you personally. Just take the information or just leave what doesn't resonate. If any of you, because I feel like somebody here is thinking about, um, somebody like really wants to be a reader or they really want to share their gifts, but somebody could be like avoiding it because of the online, you know, bullshit and the things that happens like, you know, when it comes to being a reader and exposing yourself or whatnot. But it's saying, you know, don't worry about that. Just keep sharing your gifts. Okay yeah 
I also feel like somebody here needs to, you know, learn how to start reading cards as well for themselves and or if you do have a debt, there's something I feel like you need to ask your cards about protection. Okay, there's something to do with protection and gossip here that the, the, the ancestors want to reveal to you, that the spirit wants to reveal to you, okay? Now, if this is a channel as well that you have and maybe you're kind of just feel like, oh, it's not growing or it's taking a long time to grow, keep doing it. People are definitely watching you. I just feel like people like to gossip more than they like to support and that is the problem, okay? I also feel like for some of you, you are walking oracles. So if this is nothing about having a channel, um, you are... You, you are um, you are an information box, is what I'm hearing. So you just you just be in the know, especially with the moonlight energy. I feel like for some of you, you're really connected to the moon. You could be a moon child, a moon child. You could be a moon trine, or you could be have been born on a Monday, or your int intuition is really going to heighten. But I feel like your intuition is really going to heighten when you're alone. Especially if you're pulling cards, I'm getting that... If you have a deck with you, try to pull cards when there's nobody around so you don't tap into anybody else's energy or make sure that you're burning an incense or protecting yourself before you connect with the cards and ask for the highest vibrational energies only, okay? Okay, so let's just see where this is going. But here, somebody here was like, um, you know, they're a really powerful leader or they have a lot of knowledge. I feel like for some of you as well, there could be some things that you may want to keep to yourself. You may just want to keep it basic because I'm hearing like, you know, not suitable for all viewers is what I just heard. Okay. So interesting. Now for others of you, if this is like a loving situation or somebody wants a fresh start with you, I feel like they're trying to tap in to see what you've got going on. Um, some of you could be dealing with a reader as well. Somebody kind of wants to know if you're single or if you're talking to anybody else. Okay. That's what somebody wants to know. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting here. Okay. So um, let's see where this is going. So this is for um, the collective. Okay, oh my goodness, someone is watching you. I'm on point, sorry guys. <laughs> we have the page of wisdom here, okay? So the page of swords, okay? So this could be you online researching a lot of things, okay? But I feel like you are being watched, okay? So keep putting your content out or keep, um, maybe you are watching someone and there's a lot that you are learning. You could be taking notes. Okay, you could be researching about how to protect yourself as well because we do have the seven of wands here. Yeah, and then we got the eight of wands. So a lot of online communication, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini is really significant here. It could be any air sign, Libra or an Aquarius. Okay, but I feel like there is like an air sign that is watching you intensely or you are watching something intensely or you are really trying to um, figure something out. Okay. I also feel like there's like a star or somebody of high influence that could be watching you and you have no idea. Okay, so gorgeous, gorgeous energy here. But yeah, people are watching you or people are going to be listening to what it is that you're saying. There could be naysayers, you know, that's, that's what I was getting before. You know, all the people that want to say no. But you know, the, the haters are really the lovers because, you know, these are six ones that's playing up towards her and six, you know, is connected to Venus, soulmate love energy okay so the people that come at you is because you're doing something new or you're different and people just do you know what i mean they're just trying to stop you they're just trying to block you but she's completely unfazed she's literally rising above the bullshit she's got her one there and she's just like i don't give a fuck what all of you motherfuckers got to say i've got the sun behind me i'm good okay with the feather there like i've got that tight connection to the divine i'm creative i don't need i don't i don't need i don't care i just don't care I don't need to hear what you have to say and I just don't care, okay? Leo vibes heavy here, okay? So you could be dealing with a Leo. You could have a Leo, um, Leo significant in your child. This could be a Leo that's trying to block you or trying to chat shit about you. Okay, you know like when readers do that, they make videos about each other. It's just so pathetic. It's just like, I thought you guys were here to spread a message and, and, um, and concentrate on reading the cards, okay? So I feel like as well, the, the universe is saying you're above all of that. You just come to work and you just do your job, Okay. Whether it's online, whether it's in real life. So this could be, you could be in a workplace. And everybody's just sitting down and gossiping and, you know, texting and talking shit about each other. And you're just like, I'm not, you know, I'm keeping myself to myself. I'm not about the bullshit, okay? I feel like people are just intimidated by you. Or like I said, you need to resist from getting involved in any type of gossip and just focus on your work. Because some of you are going to be very, very successful, okay? So yeah, let's see where this is going. Okay, very successful. Just as I said that, we've got the eight of 
um, wealth, and we got the star, and, and the love is at the bottom of the deck. Listen, guys, what did I just say about the that the haters are really your lovers? But with these two cards, we spoke about superstar energy. We spoke about something you working at, and you're going to get star status. We also spoke about an influencer or somebody of high profile status could be watching you at work. Virgo Aquarius energy is very significant here, okay? So I feel like you need to work hard at something. Just do your thing, okay? Some of you are born stars. You have star potential. You could be scientists or you could be astrologists or astron or you could um, be researching about astronomy, okay? You could be trying to figure out how to heal yourself as well or to heal other people, okay? But somebody has a lot of potential here. I'm going to keep those two because that's really, really beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful energy here, okay? Also, she's pruning herself in this card, okay? So I feel like for some of you, again, when I'm talking about that detox, I feel like something about greenery. I'm getting something about kale. Kale and spinach is very significant. So you may need to incorporate that into your diet, okay? And the lovers here, okay? So Gemini energy once again, okay? So that could be somebody that's in love with you. Somebody could be in love with you or in love with your craft, I do feel like there could be an influencer that wants to work with you or somebody may like share you or, um, you know, I just feel like for some of you, again, overnight success. I feel like some of you are going to be really successful when it comes to something. OK, you have no idea. Yeah, look at that. We have the three of cups here. Gorgeous energy, the three of emotions. OK, so cancer could be very significant. So that you're going to be celebrating something. I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of support, particularly from women or like sisters or cousins, okay? Again, there's also people gossiping about you. It's like these women are coming together to talk. And again, like the three of cups, I'm getting something about drinking here, okay? So I feel like that's what it is. I feel like for some of you, you need to restrain from drinking because I feel like when you drink or somebody around you drinks, it's kind of like it's either when you're under the influence, it's easy to get information out of you. Or when you're under the influence, you start to gossip about other people. So just be very, very careful because I feel like if people are trying to ask you out for drinks or something like that or they want to hang out with you, it's because they want to gossip or they want to find out something. So be very careful because it's saying to protect yourself from this energy. Also, again, there could be somebody that wants to reconcile with you and they're pulling the cards to see if you're with anybody if there's like a third party, what's going on, okay, so I'm getting many different messages here, okay, but either way, with all these um, energies, this is definitely success of some kind, particularly if you're online, okay, and then we have, yeah, the five of ones at the bottom of the deck, so like I said, there is a Leo or a fire sign, or you could be the Leo, because, you know, Leo represents the sun shining, we've got the Leo energy here, somebody doesn't want you to shine, or somebody could be mentally conflicted about something, I feel like for some of you, oh, look, somebody doesn't want you to shine leo energy right here so for some of you i feel like there could be somebody that's coming to apologize to you about something after really thinking about this heavily like someone's been really in their thoughts they don't know what to do what to say this person could have many people around them that's trying to stop them from coming towards you or stop them from going towards something and that's what that strength card is they need to restrain from kind of allowing other people to poison their mind because you see how they ha their hair is wrapped around hers but they're all one in the same and our hair represents our antennas so it's almost like they're feeding her negative information but she's vibrating high she's she's not even phased by these people so i feel like for some of you it's either this is you not phased by other people chatting shit gossiping or this is this person that's trying to gather the strength to come towards you to ask for a fresh fresh start because they see you as their happiness they see you as their their life source force everything abundance everything and they have to kind of like really stop themselves from listening to other people or from being tempted by other people. Or maybe this person has been battling with themselves. Maybe this person has become an abstinent from alcohol as well. Somebody may want to come and take you out for a drink. So I'm just being very careful, especially never take a drink from anybody if you haven't, um, if you haven't poured it or you haven't seen them pour it. So I'm getting if you're at a bar or something like that, get let the bartender give you the drink. Okay. Maybe somebody was under the influence as well and they've protected themselves from this energy and now they can focus and they can think straight, okay? But there is a lot of people trying to compete with you. There's a lot of people that's very, very jealous of you. People are very jealous of your success, okay? Okay, or maybe just the way that you look, your ideas, the way that you do things, okay? There's going to be a lot of haters, okay? Because you're just doing something in a different way. But don't worry about the haters, okay? Haters are gonna hate. This could also be you um having that strength to kind of like restrain from cussing people out. 
<laughs> with the I'm optimistic here, it's like, you know what, I'm just going to turn over a fresh leaf. I'm not even going to respond to you motherfuckers anymore. Because obviously, if you're whining and bitching, that's a you problem and not a me problem, okay? So gorgeous energy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, where did I just put the deck? But yeah, I feel like somebody's becoming really wise here. Or somebody sees you as really, really wise. I feel like somebody's being jealous of... Blah. Sorry, guys. I'm talking too fast. Let me just calm down. Somebody could be really jealous of your intelligence, your beauty, your handsomenessness, or your creativity. For others of you, if this is a loving situation, um, someone is just kind of conflicted. I feel like they could be jealous and possessive and just everything all at once somebody could be thinking about an argument as well something that they said to you maybe somebody's approach are scared to approach you because they think it's going to result in some type of feud and you're just kind of like you know what i'm just really above that now i'm kind of focused on myself you know because with the i am optimistic it's saying that if regardless of whether this is you or someone else somebody here needs to keep you know they need to have a positive mind state if you think negative negativity is going to happen okay so you know because you know underneath the five of ones we do have the knight of cups so somebody could be apologizing for bringing this into your life okay and with the sun energy there something is going to you know be resolved is what i just heard okay so let's just dig a little deeper please clarify the page of swords so we have there's that sagittarius energy the knight of ones that wanted to come out yeah and then the ten of ones at the bottom of the deck okay so I feel like for some of you, you've been putting in a lot of work. Maybe people are trying to stress you out. Okay. I also feel like um you're moving really quickly. Okay. This also could be some of you like moving and having to carry bags and carry things around. You're just thinking, oh my goodness, when is this going to be over? Because you just want a fresh start. You want to, you want to, you want to, um, it's almost like the night of ones, he's not facing the drama. He's not facing the three of cups. He's not facing all of this. He's in a completely different direction, okay? Also, this could be this person that's watching you that's really kind of... Somebody wants to drop all their wands, right, after kind of just sitting down and thinking in isolation. We spoke about that Virgo card, and they kind of just want to just say something, okay? I feel like you motivate someone, you inspire someone, or someone is really turned on by you. So it's like, listen, I just need to see what I'm going to have to say before time runs out, Okay? But yeah, I'm hearing that you're growing really quickly. Yeah, we've got the emperor here. Look at this. The emperor with the with the eight of pentacles and the star. So you are a boss when it comes to something. You are a leader. Again, you're very powerful. Again, you are pioneering something. So for some of you, you could be an entrepreneur. You're starting something and this is going to be the result. So keep doing it. Okay. Also, I'm hearing that this emperor is thinking about you. This Again, this could be somebody who wants to work with you. See how he's like side eyeing him? He's looking, he's like, yeah, do you know what? This person, I can see that they're really going places. I kind of want, I want to work with this person, okay? Yeah, look, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you are someone's happiness or um, something is going to really make you extremely happy. Pisces energy could be very significant, does not have to be. Okay, for some of you, this could be something to do with artistry as well. Yeah, look, the Pisces energy once again, okay? This could definitely be something to do with like artistry or um, design, I'm hearing, okay? please can't find the three of cups and then we have the six of pentacles yeah so you're going to get support you're going to get help again someone's paying to get readings to speak about you i also feel like somebody wants to reconcile here clearly um but maybe this person wasn't very supportive and now this person wants to support you okay so this per it's almost like someone's watching you and they're studying you and they're seeing that you're blossoming or this could be you and someone that wants to support okay but yeah, I'm getting something about paying for a reading here or getting a reading or a lot of people wanting to wanting you to read for them. Or this could be, again, something that you're thinking about doing. Again, drinks as well. Make sure that, you know, because, you know, he's given the breadcrumbs here. So it's almost like, hmm, I don't really know what you're giving me. OK, so just I'm hearing something about keep yourself balanced here. OK, yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles, because, again, the Queen of Pentacles is facing away from the six of pentacles so i'm hearing something about focusing on you and focusing on your coins we've got the two of pentacles underneath yeah and then the ace of swords i feel like you're going to get some sort of clarity or some truth about something for some of you, you could be managing two jobs as well or you're juggling something or you're thinking hmm i don't know what should i what should i do what should i do okay but yeah so different strokes for different folks 
But um, yeah, with these two energies at the bottom, I just feel like, you know, I'm hearing like I'm getting money. Everybody mad. Hey. <laughs> so I feel like you're just like, focusing on your money, your health as, as well. For some of you, this is something to do with like um nature. This could be your home. For some of you, this could be like you could be married or something like that. Okay, but you're just focusing on yourself and your coins. And people are just mad about this. Or people are just trying to kind of distract you from you um being like getting your bag is what I'm hearing. Okay. So yeah, I'm hearing like resist temptation. Now, for others of you, this could be somebody, like, coming to bring you something as well. Okay. Like, I'm getting something about a peace offering. Okay. Yeah, so we have reflection that wanted to come out here, okay? So, definitely someone, you know, is reflecting on something. You've made somebody really think about something. Beautiful energy. We have positive future at the bottom of the deck. So I just kind of feel like for some of you, you have a positive future ahead of you and someone can see this. So maybe somebody doubted you or they didn't believe in you or maybe you wasn't at some kind of like high status or, you know, I feel like you're talented and you're skilled. You have the energy of a boss, but you may just not be there yet. But this is your energy. I feel like there's a lot of people around you that like could be popular, but they're stupid or they don't actually have any real talent. I feel like for some of you, you're really talented. So somebody could be reflecting upon that. Oh, this could be you. Again, something about being in isolation and being in darkness. You're going to kind of um, come to a realization when it comes to something. Okay. So we have synchronicities that wanted to come out. Yeah, so I'm getting to look out for the signs, the symbols and the synchronicities and go within because you yeah, are blinded here is at the bottom of the deck. There's something that you're not seeing. Okay. Also, you could have like a telepathic connection with someone. Also, I feel like somebody didn't see you, but now they do. Okay. And then we have um, Mother Earth healing thoughts and connection with nature or connect with nature, sorry. So I keep telling you, I'm getting them greens. For some of you, you need to clear your mind, healthy thoughts. You need to put more greenery into your body. So I feel like for some of you, you really need to change your diet. Like it's really important. Okay. I'm here getting something about green tea or lemon tea, lemon and lime, like slicing up fresh lemons and fresh limes, mint leaves, putting that in your diet because you're really going to notice the difference when it comes to something. Okay, so yeah, you need to connect with nature. You need to connect with Mother Earth, especially if you have significant earth sign placements or water sign places is what I'm hearing. Particularly if it's a moon sign, like if you've got Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn as your moon or your rising or your Jupiter, okay is what i just heard okay also somebody wants to connect with you somebody may want to make something right with you it's almost like someone keeps thinking about you they keep getting lots of signs and synchronicities about you and um somebody can see that you're successful and with the activist card card it's almost like someone wants to fight for this because they can't resist you anymore okay someone has just become more mature here is what i'm hearing okay so like i said different strokes for different folks don't force the love part to fit for you just take what resonates so we'll just get a few more cards yeah listen look at this be a part of nature and look at the colors in your hair and life the rainbows alignment how do you get to ascension how do you align your chakras by putting life and nature into your body i cannot stress this enough okay and creativity so you need to be healthy Okay, so I'm getting for some of you, you need to have a clean diet and do things in moderation. Also, you're going to feel really abundant when it comes to your creativity. I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of ideas. For some of you, you're going to really be expanding here. For some of you could be mothers as well. I'm getting someone has two children, possibly a boy and a girl, but you know. And look at this, as within, so without. I'm telling you, what you put inside of you is a reflection of what is on the outside. So make sure that you're putting... Um, the right things in your body, okay? That's how you really, you know, connect with spirit authentically. Also, there is somebody, again, with, you know, the reflection. She's looking at her reflection here. It's like she's got something on her mind. She's got something bottled up. But when she's looking at herself, her hair is out, okay? And, you know, our hair represents our antennas, our thoughts, our connection to the, the divines. I feel like someone's thinking about a lot and they need to just let their hair out. They need to express what it is that they want to say. Someone's really been looking at themselves. So this could be you or this could be somebody um, looking at you. And someone, it's almost like someone sees you within themselves as above so below is what i'm hearing okay so i feel like you're up top while somebody else is down and this person may be kind of coming into that realization or again this could be you or this could be you realizing that you need to um 
you know, like I said, recenter yourself, okay? And then gorgeous energy will just, oh, so many cards came out. So we'll just take all three of them. So we've got the sacral, the solar plexus chakra, which is maybe the chakra that you need to focus on. Okay, this one right here. It says, I can, motivation, willpower, purpose, self-confidence, ego, authenticity, and sun. So I literally just said that. How you connect with the divine authentically. Okay, maybe for some of you, you are, you know, you're taming your ego. Maybe that's, you know, you may have an ego issue or this could be this other person. But you need to tell yourself that you are able to do something. You are motivated. Okay, look at this. Chakra alignment is at the bottom of the deck. What did we just speak about with this card here? Okay, it says, I am connected. Oneness, peace, unity, activation, manifestation, kundalini, balance, fluidity, and awakened. Yeah, I feel like underneath that, we have the angel of lust. So I feel like that is something that you need to resist. Okay, we have Indalo that wanted to come out. All of these rainbows, and then we had Capricorn, okay? It says, she who carries a rainbow, miracles, lucky charm, protection, magic, safety, and rainbow. And look at this. She who carries a rainbow, look, that was the first card that came out, rainbow again, and it says protection on this card, and we have protection on this card, so I feel like you need to protect yourself, you also have divine protection, again, something about rainbows and working with colours, I feel like for some of you, you need to wear colours, or you need to have like a chakra blaze bracelet or something like that, okay, but you are protected, when she shows up, she's sh letting you know that you're protected from evil eye, Possibly there may be a miracle that wants to happen in your life. Also, this could be somebody seeing you as, somebody may see you as a walking miracle, okay? Somebody feel, like I said in the beginning, someone sees you as their savior or maybe miraculous things happen when you are in someone's life, okay? And then Capricorn energy could be dealing with the Capricorn. I just said that some of you may have moon or rising or you may have significant Capricorn placements in your chart. Check what is in your 10th house. We have Saturn, number 10, Earth, career, reputation, power, influence, status, and ambition. Yeah, I'm telling you, some of you are really powerful, man. It's either there's someone that's watching you that wants to work with you or that wants to learn from you, or this is your energy, okay? You're here to take over. Also, that Capricorn energy, that could talk about temptation as well. So especially if you're a part of the industry, just be careful that people are not trying to kind of like, I just heard cult. People are not trying to kind of like force you to be a part of something that you don't want to be or trying to kind of force you into an arena that you don't, you know, you don't really want to go in. Because I'm hearing something about you need to believe that you can do something. You don't have to be tied to anybody or do you know what I mean? Just don't allow anyone to, to tempt you to sell your soul is basically in a nutshell. But you are very powerful. You have a lot of influence over people. I feel like, you know, with that restrictive energy, it's almost like somebody is trying to restrict you from growing, from spreading your wings because you can see. She's restricting herself there. You see how her hair's wrapped around her wings? Because, you know, Capricorn, it could be that restrictive energy, okay? But this is also her taming herself, taming her own temptations, okay? Because you are the temptation. That's what it's saying. Maybe people are desiring you, and you're just like, ah, I don't give a fuck, okay? I know I look good. I know I sound good. I know I smell good. I know I do good. But, you know, give me 50 feet, Okay? So gorgeous energy. Also, I'm hearing someone is like obsessing over you. Okay, so let's just get additional messages and then we'll wrap this up. So we have indulge that wanted to come out and it says you deserve to be spoiled. So you do deserve to be spoiled. But again, with the indulgence, be very careful of what it is that you are intaking. Because you see how she's got all those sweets and things around her. Okay, so just, you know, in moderation, and then we have self-love at the bottom of the deck. All that love you've been dishing out to everyone, save some for yourself. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, that's what you're doing. You know, loving yourself, loving your body, focusing on yourself, not getting kind of, you know, tempted by other things. Okay, and allow people to spoil you. If somebody wants to spend time with you, like, let them do things for you. But keep your energy protected, you know, because I'm, I'm getting that somebody here could be really susceptible or sensitive to outdoor energy. So just, you know, be very careful because the universe is saying that you have a fresh start here to do something. So just, you know, don't um don't take it for granted is what I'm hearing. I also feel like someone may have taken you for granted and they see that you are loving upon yourselves and they may want to reconnect with you. OK, so that is it, guys. I think they just said to just pull one more of these cards. 
and then oh so we have the venusian that wanted to come out and then look we have the rich bitch i'm telling you money honey and the genius i feel like for some of you i'm hearing like working smart okay you're making smart moves really focusing on yourself and like loving up on yourself with the venusian energy here okay somebody could be ruled by venus will have significant venus placement but i feel like you're going to become really wealthy or at least you're going to be looking rich i'm also getting that you realize or that you understand that the real wealth is within nature okay healthy body healthy mind healthy spirit okay but gorgeous gorgeous energy here okay so that is it and that is all guys i hope you enjoyed the reading please do not hesitate to like comment share and subscribe i will see you guys very soon i may do um elemental readings i was actually supposed to start the love readings right now and then for some reason i ended up here on this channel so that could be an omen maybe for some of you you started doing something you ended up doing something else but you know a happy accident nonetheless okay so um yeah i'll see you on my love channel very soon so if any of you are interested in love you know you can subscribe there description box you know details in below whatever okay <laughs> bye